Hey guys, it's NST, Never Stop Traveling. It's a wonderful day today, and today we're gonna go over the best places to stay when you're traveling. We will be going over hotels, Airbnb, couch surfing, camping, hostels. All right, let's jump over to my computer and let's check it out. All right, now we're on my computer. Let's check this out. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check out hotels. Um, actually, we're gonna pick a location to go to. So we'll go to Google Maps. Okay, guys. So I'm going to spin the cursor around and we're going to do, I'm looking away from the screen, I'm going to stop the cursor in 3, 2, 1. Okay, where do we get? We got China. So if it's China or Kyrgyzstan. Looks like it's China. So we'll go to China. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick a major city in China. So we are going to pick Beijing. Beijing is the first city I can see. I saw Hong Kong next. But I'm going to choose Beijing. So now we're going to go to Google uh, and we're going to search cheap hotels. The first thing we'll check out is hotels. So we're going to go to Google and then we're going to type in cheap hotels in Beijing. And then we'll go to accommodations and deals in Beijing. You can go to the first one, the second one, the third one. You might want to check out a few. But Trivia Go is pretty good. Um, what we can do is check, pick some dates. So we're going to do the 23rd to the 24th. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Beijing, you, know, you can find hotels for you know all these different prices. Looks like there's some pretty good ones. Um, let's check out this place. It doesn't seem too bad. Ninety-six dollars for the night. It looks like a pretty good, a pretty good hotel. The Mongolian Grand Hotel in. So we click on it. Let this load a little bit. So this is the hotel, it looks like it's 4.3 out of 5, and so we can get some more pictures in here. Yeah, it looks like a really nice place to stay. Really cool room, super clean. So this is where you can stay in Beijing for 100 bucks. Okay, so that's Beijing. We got it. And or that's uh, that's hotels. Now we're gonna go to let's go to Airbnb. So now we're here on Airbnb. Um, we put in our location, we put in the dates, and these are a bunch of the things you can do. Now where to stay? These are the places you can stay. Um, we're gonna check out it's 100 dollars per night, 50, 25. Let's see what we get for, um, let's see what we get for 65. Yeah, it seems decent, you know, clean place to stay. You know, good bright area, big room, got a window, got a little balcony you can sit on. Looks like there's a good view. You can get some fresh air, you probably can have a drink and whatnot. Got a kitchen you can use. It's a good bathroom. Yeah, it seems like a cool place. So you can stay there at, on Airbnb for $53 a night. That's pretty good. So now we're going to check out Hostel World. We're going to Beijing, China. We're going to go from the 23rd to the 24th. We're going to go one guest. Let's check it out. All right, so once we make it to Hostel World, we type in the date, we type in the time. Um, it's in Israeli currency again. Awesome. So let's switch that to U.S. currency. So now that we're on U.S. currency, it is searching. Okay, so we can stay at this place for 10 bucks, this place for 13. Um, what's nice about Hostel World, you have to actually click on it to see all of this stuff. Uh, that's this place looks pretty chill. Looks like they're good rooms. Uh, you might be sharing rooms. They also have private, but I mean you're you're getting a way better price. This is the fifth of the price for the Airbnb, and I mean check this place out. Look at that. Seems like a cool place. Not the nicest rooms ever, not the nice place to stay, but they have, you know, it's $10 a night. Let's check out and see if they have any accommodation stuff, like free breakfast or whatever. That's always a big thing because I'll eat a big meal in the morning, and if I can get a, a hostel or a place to stay with a free breakfast, that's like a big plus. Save you some extra cash. They have these things that are free, but what's cool is you can actually go back 
to here in the search engine and you can put on filters. So we are going to put on a filter for breakfast. Go to filters. Some countries they just don't have you know free breakfasts, but uh, it's not very common. But it looks like this place has it. All right, so we search free breakfast in the filter, and a lot of places don't have it, but it looks like this place does. It's 21. This place is 75 that has it. This place is 22. So you can probably get a meal for five dollars. So I don't think it's worth. Uh, get in the hostel with the free breakfast. Uh, well, let's check out that place real quick. This place actually does look kind of cool. It's only $20, $21, I'm assuming, for a shared room. Um, yeah, it seems like an okay place. You know, pretty nice. A beautiful garden area. Seems like it's got a chill vibe. You know, who knows? Maybe it's pretty good. We are actually going to go back to the unfiltered. Reset all. Alright, so that place is 10, 13. Let's check out this place. So, Central Youth Hostel. I actually think I might have stayed here. Did I? No, I didn't stay there. There's some hostel I stayed in Beijing. Um, I'm not seeing it. Yeah, here's all the other hostels. So you can stay at a place at, you can stay at a hostel in Beijing for let's say as little as $9 a night, which is really good. Um, looks like this is a great place to meet people. Uh, it's super interesting. It's got food and it's got drinks and you know, not the nicest rooms, but you can still get a private room for, I think, 28 or so. Yep, private room for 28. That's not bad. I mean, you'd be getting, yep, private room for 28. All right, now let's check out couch surfing. So on couch surfing, um, you got to log in. So I'm going to skip through this. So on couch surfing, you actually have to log in. Um, once you log in, you can... Um, you know, you can search whatever, search different places or whatever you want to stay. So we're going to go to, to, to we're going to go to Beijing. Beijing, China. Searching, it says searching. Once we go to Beijing, China, we're going to play, we're going to look for a place to stay. Um, local hosts. So we're going to find a host. And so the cool thing about couch surfing is it's a free place to stay. Um, you can find reviews on people to say, okay, this person's got two friends, zero references. Okay, these guys have one reference, three friends. You know, maybe they're good. Um, maybe accepting guests. You want to try to think, find people who are accepting guests. You can also put up an ad, be like, hey, I'm staying this time, this time. Um, you guys have a place for me to chill or crash. So we're going to do the 23rd to the 24th. Um, travelers, any number, and we are on these guys, is there any more, There's, they're showing us only six hosts, so maybe the couch surfing isn't very popular in Beijing, but you can send these people messages and be like, hey, I'm going to be in town these days, can I stay at your place, maybe they have an extra couch, you know, somewhere to chill at, so this guy's accepting uh, guests, so we're going to check him out. Um, usually I don't stay at a place unless they have references or, um, you know, I talk to them for a while and make sure, you know, they're chill and cool and whatnot. Um, but you can read up on his biography, you, can, you know, read what he does or whatever, uh, interest in all these things. So you, you basically, what I do is I make a template for my specific trip and then I'll message maybe five to ten people which get feedback and be like, okay, this person says they can stay, this person says they can stay this night. With couch surfing, you can stay for free in a place. So this is ever from the hotels for being 100, uh, the Airbnb being for like 60 or 50, for hostels, it was like 10 a night, and then if you want to go for free, you can stay at couch surfing, that's for, you know, for free somewhere, and then camping. So I don't know if there's actually any camping in Beijing, but we can check. 
Um, where I like to go to is I like to go to Camping Go, and there's a couple other good sites to do this. And you can type in... <clears throat> Beijing is a city, so I doubt there's anything in Beijing. So it looks like there's nothing in Beijing, but we're going to just do China, see if there's anything in China. So in China, I guess at least on this website, we're not finding any campsites, but in reality, I mean, most countries and most places that I've been, you can kind of get away with just camping off, you know, almost anywhere. Uh, I've known travelers to literally just inner city camp where they basically just, you know, they find a park somewhere to sleep in, they set up a tent, maybe they have just a, a sleeping system or whatever, but if they get into a town really late and everything's closed, you know, they have their camping gear. It's kind of like last minute kind of stuff, what you can do. Um, so you can camp for free. You can couch surf for free. You can stay at hostels for as little as, you know, $10 a night in Beijing. And then um, you got your Airbnb. You got a place to yourself where you can cook, relax. If you're there for a week or maybe a month, you can stay there for $53 a night. You can get a hotel um, for like about $100 a night. Alright guys, that was all the places you can stay when you're traveling and how to research them and find different prices and you know different different sites you can use. Hopefully that was useful and if you guys think I missed anything, just let me know. Uh, if you guys got any questions, just put it in the comment box. If you like this video, please put a like. And um, if you want to watch the other videos that I'm posting in the next two weeks or three weeks, just hit that subscribe button and you'll and that bell icon and it'll give you a ring every time I post a video. I'm posting Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 5.30 at Middle Eastern Standard Time, Chicago time in the United States. Otherwise guys, peace out and take care. Never stop traveling.